Today, I'm gonna be taste testing the entire Mr. Beast menu, which I'm excited for because, <laughs> let's just say, your boy found a loophole. Smash the like button if you guys are excited for today because, yo, I literally like was online and I was like stressing out because it was looking pretty bad. It was looking like I wasn't gonna be able to try this delicious burger that everyone was trying because, yo, I'm in Canada right now. I'm still in Canada. It's an issue. Every time the world gets something, we get it last. It's so frustrating. However, your boy was looking on Kijiji, you know, I was scrolling down the pages. And if you guys don't know, Kijiji's like the Canadian version of Craigslist. I was scrolling down the pages and I came across this ad and it was Jake. I, I couldn't not click on it, bro. It said 100% legitimate Mr. Beast Burger. Are you crazy? Like, I'm, I'm getting that. I don't care who it's from. I know it's legit because it says it in the title, right? So right now I'm actually going to go pick it up because this is going to be the first taste test of a Canadian <coughs> in Canada <coughs> of the Beast, Mr. <coughs> of the Jimmy, <coughs> Mr. <coughs> Burger. You already know the vibes, guys. Let's get it. So I just pulled up to this parking lot where I'm supposed to be meeting the guy with my food and uh, I'm kind of sketched out. I can't lie. I don't know what to expect. I hope this legitness order is as legit as it claims to be. It literally says pick up the Mr. Beast burger on this sign. Jeez! The guy just pulled up with the Mr. Beast burger. I'm aged. I'm not getting out of my car though. Kind of snowy right now. So, what's up, bro? Mr. Beast for life. Thank you. Oh, I'm aged. Look at this. Mr. Beast burger. Are you crazy? Did he just say Mr. Beast for life? <laughs> what's going on right now? All right, let's go home and try this out. So, we just got back to the crib and I got a huge bag. There's a lot of stuff we got to taste test. The first item, it's basically going to be whatever I pull out. Obviously, you guys can see it's very. Very real, this Mr. Beast Burger stuff. Let's just see what we pull out and then let's see what's on it. I should have had the entire menu. Nice utensils, you see the plastic utensils I have? Come on, Mr. Beast. The first item, as you guys can see, we have like the chicken burger. More specifically, this one is the crispy chicken tender sandwich. So this has mayo, shredded lettuce, pickles on it, and it's like two chicken tenders in a thing. Obviously, you guys can see, like, come on. The versions might be different because this is the first ever Canadian version taste test. So you guys can see the Mr. Beast, All right, you, you get the vibe. So let's just open this one really quick and try it out. Remember guys, oh, that looks vibes. The two nice chicken tenders, the lettuce, you see the mayo, everything that's supposed to be on it. I'm digging the bun. Shout out to the guy who sold this to me on Kijiji. I don't know where you got it, bro, but definitely looks 100% legit, as you guys can see. Let's try it out. Are the burgers fire? Mm-mm-mm. If I do say so myself, I'm a big fan of this. The chicken is nice and tender, nice and wet, not dry. The lettuce, Mr. Beast, it's like he handpicked these out of the garden itself with how vibes the lettuce is. And a lot of people diss Chick-fil-A for putting pickles on all their burgers. A wave. I'm a big fan of pickles. But more importantly than anything, I have to say, this burger tastes like money. I really f*** with this. Like anything Mr. Beast touches turns to gold. It's an old age saying that people have been using for decades and decades before Jimmy even came to YouTube. Mr. Beast forever. Yeah, there's something about this. I think the guy who dropped it off just said, yo, this tastes like money, so. Uh, we're gonna give this $10,000 challenge out of 10. Whoa. Amazing. All right, what's the next item? Ooh! You guys already see the Beast style burger. Look at the logo. That, you gotta pay attention to extra the detail. Extra large logo for extra large taste. Yeah, I, like I read some news article yesterday. They were saying like the Canadian version of this burger. Instead of having the burger changed in any way, they just said they wanted the logo bigger because like you really want it to stand out. You know what I mean? Like Texas, everything's bigger in Texas. Same applies to Canada. So this is the Beast style burger. And this is what's on the Beast style burger. Smash crispy beef pack patties with house seasoning, American cheese pickles, diced with onion, mayo, ketchup, and brown mustard on a soft roll. Kind of stressed about the mustard, but it is what it is for Mr. Beast, bro. I'll chop off my own limbs. Ooh, ooh! Oh, we don't want to make sure that sticker sticks on there nice and good. You see the double patty vibes, you crazy? Let's look at the bottom of this bun. Yeah, sometimes these stores, when they like make the bun, sesame seeds that aren't supposed to be there just show up. Looks pretty legit. Yeah, it looks pretty legit. I'm inspecting this. Thick burger, you see the pickles and vibes and all that stuff. All right, first bite of the Beast style burger that is 100% legit. Like clearly, you can see the Mr. Mr. Beast got most good Mickey Mouse face. That's holy shit. Mr. Beast logo on the front of the bag. It's right there. Pay attention. You see the logos. How are you making this shit up? This came straight from America. You know how like people have those like lucky money trees like in their culture? People are always like, yo, I wish I could grow a money tree. So this tastes like a little bit better than you would get from any fast food place. And it tastes like you would get it from like a gourmet sit down little restaurant. But at the same time, it tastes a little bit like a money tree. How many money trees out of how many money trees? This is 25 money trees out of $7,000 if you hold your finger on this app for 10 hours. Wow. Out of 10. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna rate it. Shout out Mr. Beast. He didn't send me this directly. Obviously no paid sponsor, promo, anything. This came from a great human being who clearly 
they sold me real products on Kijiji. So far, so good. Let's try the next burger. I need a drink, actually. And for the drinks, you already know the vibes. Bro, if we're going Mr. Beast Burger, I mean, there's really not many options to choose from. Water, Pepsi, or Diet Pepsi? I haven't had Diet Pepsi in forever, so yeah, I know a lot of stores are cooking these burgers because I don't think there actually is a Mr. Beast store other than the one he did in the video. The sheer fact that this has Mr. Beast's name attached to it, I feel like it's gonna taste like challenge. Let's give it a sip. Absolutely impeccable. This Diet Pepsi, literally, you cannot. If you're gonna tell me that this even compares to regular Diet Pepsi, you're crazy. It's absolutely out of 10. It's just out of 10. Ooh, we got more burgers. Chris style burger. Um, it's coming out of the foil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not the only thing falling off of it. Um, oh. Oh, that label looks a little finicky. Put that back on there for sure. On the Chris burger, we have two smashed crispy beef patties with house seasoning, American cheese bacon topped with crinkle fries. So this is not only a burger, but it's got fries on it. Oh, shout out to Ryan Sways because this guy always does this. He puts like chips and fries on his burger. I've tasted this before. And as you guys can see, oh yeah, the moisture in the bag must have been a little bit too much because like if you really look close, you can see all the crinkles, right? No, look, look you have to look close. Let me just grab a different fry. You can see all the crinkle cut fries, right? For sure. The guy in Kijiji wouldn't lie to me, right? No, no, definitely. That's what I'm saying. He said he was 100% legit. You see the burger? We got everything that it said. Obviously the nice bacon and the cheese and we have crinkle cut fries. Let's give it a try. I'm stressed that the other burgers didn't have fries on them. This one's delicious. The fries and the bacon, as much as you would think it's, it kind of would make it a little overwhelming. Bruh, are you crazy? This 100% legit, real Chris style Mr. Beast burger is fantastic. You gotta pair it up with the Pepsi though. Yeah, get a close up on this burger, but don't get too close. Oh. But still get a close up, okay. but not too not close. Too close but, like, but get it now. So you guys can see, obviously it's real. I'm gonna give that a, we give that like a Chris out of 10. I do like the name Chris. My dad's name is Chris. So at the end of the day, it might be a little bit biased. And your editor's name is Chris. Chris and my editor's name is Chris. Shout out Chris. What do you give this one, Chris? Chris, put on the screen right now what you give this out of 10. There you guys have it. We have multiple ratings and I'm pretty sure he said something probably like infinity and beyond out of 10. Next up, we're switching it up from the burger. Obviously, the labels seem to be getting bigger. But like I said, guys, the bigger label means better food. It's hard to see, but Carl's grilled cheese. So now we're switching it up from the burger vibe. So this is just three slices of American cheese griddled crisp on an inverted bun. Regular grilled cheese to me. I don't know why there's tape here. Oh, that's definitely not the... I have no clue what's going on right now. This is crazy. This is 100% real, by the way, guys. Did they tape the burger close? Let's just put the logo to the side. The logo doesn't matter like that. As you guys can see, we have the inverted bun. Perfectly grilled cheese. Yeah, here we go. 100% Carl's grilled cheese. Tastes a bit like Minecraft. What? Yeah. If I had to rate this, I would say this is, it is really good. Nice, crisp, perfect amount of butter on top and bottom, inverted bun, obviously, Mr. Beast Burger. You already know the vibes. Yeah, it's Carl's Grilled Cheese. So for that reason, I'm gonna have to give it an Ender Dragon out of 10. Wow. You know what? I might even take another bite of this. Sheesh! All right, next item. So far, so good though. Everything on the menu, absolutely bomb. And more importantly, absolutely 100% real. So next up we have, ooh, the spicy chicken. I think this is a Nashville chicken sandwich. Nashville hot chicken tender sandwich with mayo, ketchup, shredded lettuce, and pickles. As you guys can see in the picture, obviously this is gonna look exactly like that. What's on the inside of that? Uh, Why is it orange? Why is it orange? Hmm. Does it look orange on camera? A little orange. I, my camera's been having issues. It kind of looks like the Popeye. No, no, so my <laughs> camera's just been having issues. So it looks a little orange, that's the problem. So if you guys are seeing orange, don't worry. It's, you're not the only one, it's the camera's fault. So this one has ketchup on it, which I'm super excited about. One dutty piece of chicken, are you crazy? Nice pickles, Nashville. I feel like I'm gonna be in Tennessee right now. This one I'm the most excited for. Sure, the only 10 I see. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so one thing about me, I do like burgers, obviously. If there's like a chicken burger on the menu, I'm always choosing the chicken burger first, especially if it's like a crispy chicken burger. So I feel like I'm gonna be a huge fan of this. Real Mr. Beast burger. It's the best item on the menu so far. That's amazing. Um, what, what did you just spit it out? I literally just took a flight to Nashville. Did I spit it out? I'm washing my hands. Oh, I thought you spit it out. What? Why would I ever disrespect this Nashville chicken burger? Are you crazy? It does look really good. Yeah, this one is fire. Literally, my mouth is on fire. My mouth is actually burning. I might need a drink. Next item, we have the Chandler style burger. Now, we tasted the Beast burger. We tasted the Chris burger. I think all we have left is the Chandler burger in terms of burgers. So what's on the Chandler style burger is two smashed crispy beef patties with house seasoning served plain with American cheese on a bun. It's literally just meat and cheese and seasoning. No like lettuce, no nothing like that. Chandler likes his stuff very plain apparently. Try this 100% legit Chandler burger because it is 100% legit. It would be disrespectful to not try it. I added an extra patty just for funsies. But you see the meat, see the cheese. Come on! Hmm. I'm cool on that one. It's a great burger. No. 
You don't like the Chandler burger? I do like the burger. All the burgers are great. Oh, it looks a little squished. Unfortunately, because this is 100% real Chandler burger and you could tell by the size of the sticker alone, and because I got it off a legitimate source, clearly, and because this is the first ever Mr. Beast location in Canada, more specifically Ottawa, that's legit. I'm gonna have to give it a nine billion out of 10 thousand dollar challenge. If you stay <laughs> in the circle for 25 hours, you'll get the money. That's why I give it out of 10, but it is a little bit dry. Just because I feel like if you're just putting meat and cheese and seasoning on anything, like you need at least ketchup or something. You gotta add the sauce. You need some sort of sauce. Come on, this has too much sauce. They have no sauce. Next item. But you bring the sauce. I bring the sauce. You don't even need the sauce. Because I have it. We only got a few things left. I'm super excited for. Now, obviously, we have the Mr. Beast fries. Crinkle cut. So 100% legit. Crinkle cut. Can you see the cream coals? Um, they're hard to see, but they're there. You can see them, right? They're definitely there. Just look very close. Wow. You can really see them, right? For sure. I'm gonna have to give these. Actually, what do you give these? Based off my reaction of eating them, what would you give them? Just out of off the crinkle alone, 12 out of 10. And the logo, the big logo. Oh, the big logo makes it. If you have bad eyesight, you can still see That's what the I'm logo. saying. Like the accessibility of these. I know the American might have smaller logos. They and, might actually stick on to the product. And they might, yeah, they stick <laughs> and they look cool and they work. You know what I mean? But out here in Canada, like it's all about big things. If you're trying to do big things in life, you're gonna need big logos. You can take it off, keep it as a little super. Yeah, you can take it off. Look at whoa, oh. Look, stick it back on. Clearly sticking. Keep it as a souvenir. Mr. Beast fries out of 10. Oh, wow. That's just like the best rating you can get. We only have a few items left. Next up, we have the Beast style fries. Clearly, you can see oh, that it says, what? What is that? It says Beast style on them. They're seasoned crinkle fries. You're just noticing a trend because we love the crinkle fries over here. Caramelized onions. Some people would say caramelized onions. American cheese, pickles, mayo, ketchup, and mustard. Pretty much like fully loaded fries. So just a little bit of a warning. In Canada, regular fries is a poutine. And a poutine, if you don't know what it is, it's a poutine. It is fries with gravy and uh, cheese curds. It's actually fire. Obviously, this is the Canadian version of the B style. Every location, like China and all that stuff, I don't know if it's out there yet, you have to like reflect the meal off the culture there. So, as you guys- Just like McDonald's does like different burgers. Yeah, yeah in different, different burgers. Why are you dying laughing? <laughs> as you guys can see, this, because everything's 100% real so far, this is obviously- Bruh. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's 100% so, legit. <laughs> Um, what is that? <laughs> Why is there a full pickle on there? Oh my god. The guy who gave me this off Kijiji must be clickbaiting me at this point. I feel like he made these up. Everything else is real, but this specifically, what the hell is this? Oh god. Let's try it out. Let me use this spoon that came. 100% real, legitimate Mr. Beast burger fries. Oh, so much caramelized onions. I see them, they're right there. Mm, insane. So insane, I might save this for later. Put <laughs> this to the side. You just this, can't have too much of a good That's thing. the thing, I don't want to ruin my stomach because I have so much great food here. I'm the type of guy that likes to eat a little bit of everything. I have no elbow, but yeah, those are great fries. If you're wondering if you should have the 100% 100% legitimate Mr. Beast fries or the Beast style, <laughs> Just like in and out make it the beast style. And last but not least, we have to try the water and we have dessert because the food was also good from this great Mr. Beast burger that we have to treat ourselves with a nice little dessert. And luckily, he actually has a nice dessert item that everyone likes on the menu. I literally just got $10,000 drinking that water. That was fantastic. <laughs> this shit tastes like money. It tastes like green. Last but not least, we have the Mr. Beast cookies. Wrong thing. Don't worry about those. The Mr. Beast cookies. Um, did you just stick that later? Nope, on? that was been there the whole time. So we have the Mr. Beast cookies. <laughs> the real And uh, <laughs> like I said, guys, before I show them to you, be warned, everything in Canada is bigger than America. So. That is a big <laughs> <ass cookie. laughs> These are the nice, soft chocolate chip cookies. Look at that nice little tear. Let's give it a taste. <clears throat> What's going on? Oh, what, what are these? What? These were in there as well. I guess they wanted to give us two types of cookies. They look a lot like Chips Ahoy. Yeah, no, 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 no. These are Mr. Beast. Look how soft these are. 100% Sheesh. Mr. Beast cookies. Oh my God, these are good. Mr. Beast, you literally outdid yourself, bro. You outdid yourself. This is like Benjamin Franklin out of 10. Wow. So overall, guys, as you guys can see, I clearly enjoyed this food. I'm gonna have to give the overall meal, I'll give it a $10,000 challenge out of 10. And uh, shout out to Jimmy for making this. I'm kind of stressed because after tasting all this, it's almost as if the guy in Kijiji ripped me. I think he gave me- <laughs> It's almost like he went to various Canadian stores. Various Canadian stores, stores are just piled together different foods from each place that worked in place of the actual Mr. Beast burger. But because it does have the low 
logo, I, I have to believe this is it. You know what I mean? This is 100% legit. So smash the like button if you enjoyed that video. By the way, guys, if you noticed, Sylvia was actually the one who gave me this. So <laughs> if you analyze closely and zoom in, you can see the hand. And if you take even a closer look, you can see the fingernails. Yeah, on your nails right now. Some acrylic stuff. So Sylvia played me at the end of the day. Mr. B's, please, bro. Why does America get it, bro? I'm in Canada right now. I'm, I'm going back in like a month, but bro, 300 locations you dropped and I'm out here struggling. Come on. You couldn't give Canada one. One, like literally just one. Is there one in Toronto? There might be, I don't know. In Ottawa, you have zero, so I'm stressed about that. Jimmy, please, I'm begging you, Jimmy. This is, I know this is real, but like make it more real, please. Smash the like button, guys. I love you guys so much. This video boy will be based.